In this episode, our windlass fails and our anchor gets stuck. Guys, stop, 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 someone's overboard! This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Taylor, and our special guest for the next few weeks, fellow YouTubers, Babe, Where's My Passport? So follow along on our journey as we set sail for the Caribbean in our 1989 CT-56. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Thank you so much. In the previous video, we showed you our anchoring technique and then took you to La Parguera at the party beach. All right, so we are gonna move just about two miles today. Uh, there's another little bay, it's pretty well protected, but there's a bioluminescence bay right attached to it. Uh, unfortunately, the bioluminescence doesn't really show up in, not, on camera, but... Yeah, it's like really super hard to capture because yeah. you need a long exposure, which you can't really do, do on video. video so. We'll try to get a picture or something for you, but we're gonna head over there now anyway. It's only about two miles, so we'll get going. I'm super excited to see it. I hope yeah. it, I hope it's like really strong. I know I haven't seen any bio like around here, so I'm a little worried. Maybe not, but we'll see how it goes. Fingers so. crossed. Yeah. The hard part is that uh, our windlass is not working. So oh, that means it's your guys' time yeah, to shine, Graham. Miss, Mr. Muscles over there and I have to lift up the uh, the anchor on our own. So we'll we'll try that now. Let's do it. Yeah, it's not working. So basically, what we're gonna do is the two of us we have to pull on the chain, and for now we can just pile it up here, yeah. and then we'll stack the chain inside here. Yeah. She's gonna go forward, so it, it, we should be just lifting it up, not pulling the boat. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Stay All right, pull. so now stand there and let's pull and do it. Hang on. Okay. Pulling up 150 feet of 3 8 inch chain can be very tiring. Hang on, just gotta go forward a little. Forward just a little. Hurry, right, slow down. Okay. Yeah. Right, is it pretty straight down? All right, yeah. now, now we're lifting up the anchor part. So, all right, oh. hang on. Let's take a little break here for a second. So now, now's the hard part because it's like 75 pound anchor and it's dug into the mud. Plus we got, I don't know how much that stuff weighs. That's like, uh, I don't know, probably 15 pounds per meter of chain, so. It's heavy. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. Woo. You do not want to get your foot caught. No, no, you don't, for sure. Whoa. Yes, it's coming, it's coming. Beach up there. And we can let it slide. Okay. Yeah? That's good right there. Woo! Alright. Well, this is guys, well done. Good All job. Right, go that way, Taylor. Should I clear? Well, that boat just went down. Alright, if we Should were claw off the if we were not if we were going any further in just a little bit, we'd clean that off a little. Oh but yeah. We're just gonna drop it here in about two miles. Uh, uh. The locals were still partying at Cayo Caracoles as we passed by. It was a short two miles to the east to anchor in front of the phosphorescent bay. Okay, at the moment it's about three feet from the bottom of the boat, the keel of the boat, to the floor. So we slowed down a little bit. You made it through? Oh yeah, no problem. We had, the lowest we saw is about two and a half feet below the keel and it went from that to like 50 feet straight down the cliff Ooh. underwater. You can see how much darker the water is now. Yeah. At our anchorage, I did a poor job of scouting our location to drop the anchor. So the boys have got to check on the anchor so they got their snorkeling gear on and they're gonna go and make sure the anchor is A-OK. -okay. Just as I feared, I dropped the anchor right next to a big rock. 
just overheard them talking. They said, no, the anchor is no good. Hooked on a rock. He's saying he's hooked on the rock. Okay, so we're gonna go with the dinghy. We're gonna pull it up. And then we're gonna bring it over here, because here's like sand. And then we'll just like dig into the sand quite nicely. So, uh, oh. wish us good luck. The first step was to attach a line to the front of the anchor to help dislodge it from the rock. It took a lot of muscle power, but we were able to pull the anchor up to the dinghy. We successfully moved the anchor and then attached a buoy to the line so we could know where it is. We're good to go. Good job, man. Hey, yeah. Mission completos. It was uh, stuck on behind a big rock, right? Now we're all hooked up. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, well, relatively, I mean, there's a few rocks down there, but it's a lot cleaner at the bottom here. This shot gives you a view of how I just overshot the anchorage a little and dropped in the rocks. Just around the corner was the bioluminescent bay. the night and we're gonna go out on a venture to look for bioluminance captain uh we'll see i i don't have big i don't have uh good hopes just <laughs> i haven't seen any bioluminescence here in the last few days and we're right outside the bay so i don't know we'll try it but usually it's, it's, it's the crop. spot right yeah but we'll uh, see if we can do it mm, we'll we'll do do can we all I feel to bed it. and then got up because none of us are Staying up until midnight because we live on a boat. <laughs> yeah. It's way too late for us cruisers. The bioluminescent bay was pretty amazing. It needs to be very dark, so it's hard to film, but these are about the best pictures we could get. So it's official, guys. I'm a mermaid. 100%. We went into the bay. And as I swam, I just lit up, didn't I, babe? It was insane. It right? was insane. I'm literally in my underwear. Graham's boxers is what I'm wearing right now. Like, if you didn't think magic existed, it exists. We've just seen it, right, babe? This spot is well worth coming to. Oh my god, this bit, it's the bay of magic. That's what I'm re renaming it. It's amazing. <sighs> what did you think of the bioluminescence? It was really cool. We uh, got up at the crack of midnight because we can't stay up that late. And yeah. uh, no, it was really cool. Like uh, at first we saw the individual sparkles and we're like, oh, okay, we don't know if we're gonna see it. But then once we actually got into the protection of the bay, it was like glowing. Yeah. Theodora hopped in. Yeah, it looked really cool. She was swimming around, looked kind of like a mermaid or an angel or something really cool. Yeah, no, and then like the, the from the propeller yeah. too, it was like a trail. Yeah. It's really special. We got a couple of pictures of it, but unfortunately it wouldn't come out in video. Yeah, so. no, but anyway. uh, definitely yeah. worth seeing. Yeah, for sure. So there's absolutely no wind this morning, so we're gonna get out and head down to a place called Gilligan's Island. Uh, I don't really know why it's called that, but it's kind of about 10, 12 miles down the way. You can see there's absolutely no wind, um, which is kind of the best thing when you're headed east down here because uh, the winds, when there is wind, it's out of the east and we're headed east. So this way it'll be a nice, calm, Smooth motor over to Gilligan's Island, about a little over 10 miles. Yeah. There it is. 
How are you this morning, Taylor? Good, just rolled out of bed and we're moving. <laughs> but uh, our steering's kind of acting up, so we're trying to see what's going on with that. Oh. Yeah, because it was being weird yesterday. Like, yeah. it was not really being responsive at all. Okay. It's probably low on fluid. But lucky Bobby has everything on this ship. Yeah. He knows what Boats. to do. I think I need a funnel. Funnel. Yeah, she's definitely responding better now. Really? Yeah. It took a lot more turns earlier to turn a little bit. Yeah. And so now it's, I, I still need to add hydraulic fluid to it. I only had a little bit in that bottle left. But, uh, I mean, it would get us to where we're going today. Now I'm used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Guys, stop, 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 someone's overboard. Well, we've got a man down. Bobby's uh, going in the dinghy here. To go and rescue the paddleboard right yeah. there. Go get him, Bobby. Okay, there we got the He's captain. Got it. Well, just a minor casualty, just a little uh, paddleboard overboard. Yeah. But Bobby went and rescued it. Just have to attach it from the back now because it ripped off the thing on the front. Yeah, we were gonna blame whoever tied the knot to the back, but it actually ripped off the paddleboard itself. So uh, yeah, the paddleboards don't like being towed behind the boat. I don't know who you are. After a short rescue mission, we were on our way again. The bed is slowed down. Inside my mind is getting not too loud. I get scared. It was an easy 10 miles east to the area known as Gilligan's Island. Ton of reefs on the south side of Puerto Rico here, which is why it's such a great place to cruise because all the reefs break up the swells coming in. And so inside the reefs out there, uh, it's actually fairly deep water. It's 40 to 50 feet until you get close to a reef. And then obviously there's a reef, you don't want to get too close to it. But it makes a really protected bays down here and it's really nice. The water clarity's meh, okay. But uh, you know, it's still real pretty. We made it into the bay, and this time I did a better job anchoring. You're getting this in my brain. You're getting this in my brain. Yeah. On one end of the bay, there's a funky restaurant named San Jacinto. And on the other end, a nice resort called Copa Marina. Be sure to tune into the next video as we explore both of those places and head ever eastward. Before we play our bonus footage, I'd ask you to please click that subscribe button and ring the bell next to it for notifications. And thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. We've got the good looking cooking here. Oh yeah. Marina and I, for the second time. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For vegetarians, they cook some decent food. <laughs> uh, Ouch. Uh, the shade you're throwing there, Bob.